All right, YouTube Black Ninja here, and uh, I hope uh, this will be the last video, a farewell video to the Xbox One versus PlayStation 4, okay, video. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Depends. If you guys want to keep it going, we'll keep it going. But anyway, um, as you can see, the poor design of the Xbox One. These senseless grills, okay, uh, I don't think they're air vents or anything. I don't know if they are or not. I don't feel like they are. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. But once the dust gets in between these grills, these fake or real grills, I don't know if, like I said, if it serves any purpose or not, it's almost impossible to clean. So you see all this dust. That would have to literally get in between each crevice to clean, okay? And also the Xbox does not sit up vertically to give you the option of doing that. All right. So, anyway, um, let me get to the point of the video. This is San Andreas 3D movie. Okay. Now, ever since the PlayStation 3, Sony PlayStation 3 and 4 can play 3D Blu-ray discs, okay? Now, if you don't have a 3D television or display, the PlayStation 4 will automatically play the movie in regular viewing mode, okay? But... The Xbox One, if you stick this in there, will tell you, well, the disc will tell you that you need a 3D Blu-ray player and a 3D display in order to play this disc, okay? So you can't even watch a simple movie that's that was made in 3D. Now... If you have a PlayStation VR, but you don't have a 3D display television, the PlayStation 4 will ask you if you want to set up, if it's hooked up, if you want to set up your VR to display the movie in 3D. And voila. If you say okay then you can watch this movie in 3D. Yes, you can. And my, may I add that it is pretty decent, okay? Um, just like if you were sitting in a modern-day movie theater, that is how you will see the 3D, okay? You don't need to wear 3D glasses, uh on top of the visor, uh, underneath the visor, to see it in 3D, the visor automatically displays the movie in 3D, okay? Now, my only complaint with the VR is that the screen door effect, although it's slight, is very noticeable when you are trying to uh, focus in on the picture quality, okay? So, the display is the weakest part of the PlayStation VR. The effects, everything else, the 3D effects, the virtual reality games are excellent, fun, engaging, um, virtual reality uh, envelops you and everything, okay? The 3D movie effect, awesome. Looks great. It's like sitting in a movie theater with a huge screen in front of you, okay? And all these 3D effects is coming right at you, all right? The only thing that ruins it, though, like I said, 
is the screen resolution picture quality far as in the is in that screen door effect okay and that's the only problem i really really wish that sony would come up with a second generation vr that has a higher resolution that negates or gets rid of that stupid screen door effect if so that right there would put all big screen televisions out of uh, business okay uh, if you can get near 4k display inside this vr that'll be the end of it seriously anyway like i said xbox one cannot play 3d blu-ray discs playstation 4 can the PlayStation 3 can. I have a Vizio television set that I've moved from the living room to the bedroom when I bought this TV. My Vizio television is near 10 years old. I think it's, no, 12 or 13 years old. And that was when 3D televisions first came out. I bought it. It was like $650. You'll see my older videos. I did a review on it. And uh, the Vizio television in my bedroom still works great. That, hooked up to the PlayStation 3, will play this movie in 3D glory. Okay? So, need I say more? Piece of shit. Sorry. I know you're going to tell me all oh, the gaming experience, the ability to uh, play with your pals, uh, your friends, and this and that, and, you know, the last generation, the PS3 couldn't do cross-game chat, well, it can't, the PlayStation 4 can, okay, so everything the Xbox 360 used to be able to do, the PlayStation 4 can do now, and everything else that the Xbox used to be able to do that the PlayStation 3 couldn't, PlayStation 4 does it. And PlayStation 3 and 4 was able to always play this. Is it a, um, I don't know. Is it a deal breaker? To me it is. I mean, I'm not just a big time, uh, you know, gadget guy or anything. But, you know, little things like this. It's a deciding factor for me. All right. So um, once I uh, play with this a little bit more and whatever, it's going to go back to collecting dust again. Okay. This here, awesome. I just wish that PlayStation Sony would come up with the second generation VR headset that has a better display. If that was the case, psh, that's it. Man, there is no need for anyone to go buy a television set to go play video games. Because that right there, I mean, when you put that on, the screen is so huge. It looks just like a movie theater screen. Okay? And then when you're in virtual reality, of course, everything, where, wherever you turn, is what, you know, is... The whole 360 degrees is your screen. So, yep. By the way, uh, pretty good movie. Special effects, awesome. E and watching it in 3D, even more awesome. All right. Thanks for watching.